This just arrived today. SDR tuner card. It's actually a TV card that some hackers have figured out receives a pretty wide range of frequencies. I believe this one's supposed to go from about 64 megahertz up to 1700 megahertz. So we'll see. I ordered two parts. Actually, this came with two parts. The antenna as well as the RS2832 tuner. But this is the only part that's come so far. So we're going to open this up, see what it looks like, and go from there. And here's what's in the box. I was thinking that the, <laughs> that the antenna would be much larger. In the Amazon pictures, it did look much larger. But I have the antenna. And there's the tuner card that's been bouncing around the box from Hong Kong to the East Coast. Shipping was extremely fast. It took about a week and a half, and this isn't really even supposed to be here until the end of Thanksgiving. Today is October 24th, 2012. So those are the two parts, and this is the guy that sold it. I have to admit, shipping was incredibly quick. So the next phase is to pick one of the freeware software SDR options out there and see what we can get with this. And as you kind of move your your area around, you can just find your ridge of activity and then uh, see what you got. One thing to also keep in mind is this is very memory intensive. That bottom meter down there, I don't know if that's showing, but this is using just about all the resources this very old system has. So a modern system is going to work a lot better. This is just barely flying it, and this computer is about six or seven years old, but it's a lot of fun. And this is SDR Sharp. There are a lot of different programs and options for these SDR TV tuner cards. This one works pretty well. A friend of mine helped me out with some of the tweaks to get this working well. And it's really cool. I've temporarily got the TV tuner card connected to a roof antenna that's tuned for two meters. And this is just temporarily kind of cobbled together to get an outside antenna. The small antenna that came with this really wouldn't pick up much. But you zoom in on one particular ridge, open it up, and you can pick up some pretty good signals. Um, again, I've just played with this for maybe an hour or two this afternoon and a few minutes here. And you just kind of zoom in and look around a little bit and you can pick up all kinds of fun stuff. So definitely a project to fine tune and work with some more. But for 21 bucks, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.